Hello, welcome to my unboxing and review of the Spark model 143rd scale Morgan Aero 8 Supersport from 2010. So uh, as you can see it's here in the wrapping and it'd be a shame not to record removing this wrapping. I'm not a fan of <laughs> taking the wrapping off. I feel a bit guilty. I'd rather buy second-hand cars, uh, second-hand models rather than unwrapping new ones. Now there is tape on this. Right, okay, I'm going to cut the tape because otherwise it's going to rip the polythene right up. So uh, I did use my Victorinox Swiss card, a great Christmas present for people. Link in the description. Multi-tool pen knife in a credit card format. Okay, let's uh, see if I can slide this wrapper off. There we go. Whether I'll ever get that back in that wrapper like that, I've got no idea and I don't really intend to anyway. So, here's the model. Now what's unusual about the packaging for this one is there is an inner plastic strap holding on the Targa roof there. Right, okay. Typical spark with a rear, rear card in silver with the spark logo and um, model details there and uh, more details on the back let's get it straight out of there okay and of course we're met with the usual oval uh, stickers here now right let's have a look and see if I can yeah start peeling that peel that off okay so now I should be able to open this in and bring that over and peel off the other half like so. Let's pop that over there. So here you see what I mean about that extra wrapping. So as soon as I take that off the Targa roof can fall off under gravity. Okay, so right, let's um, have a look at removing this uh, plastic film. It's unusual. I wonder if it Yep, it it joins itself on the back and there's some tape holding it there. Yeah, it should be possible to peel the tape rather than cut it. Right, that appears to be peeling the whole tape, not just half of it. There we go, turn the model back up before the roof falls off. Um, unwrap that around. And yes, the, the roof is coming off with the tape rather than with the car so let's see now that's a one piece target top I suspect that it's representing a two piece target top because there is a seam in the middle of that top right let's see now of course with the roof off you immediately see inside so uh, but let's see how fiddly this target roof is um, see if I can pop it back on Okay, yeah, it just rests on there, just rests on there quite nicely. Okay, so looking at the model, we've let's start with the plinth, very simple, basic plinth. I'll take this off its plinth, I always do with my models. Now, um, starting from the front, we've got the uh, the weird thing about the Morgan Aero 8 is these boss eyed or cross eyed rather uh, headlights. Um, they were taken from a Mini, the new type Mini, so the first, probably the first type of the new type Minis, which are BMW produced in Oxford in England, and uh, they kind of point in. So um, it's an inter interesting look. So you've got a very much combination of the old Morgan style plus some modern touches. Okay, um, right, going round model. Now this one is black so it's harder to see but we can pick up the highlights so you see the the center hinged bonnet uh, to reveal or the engine cover so each side will come up to reveal the BMW V8 4.4 engine which obviously won't be represented in this model because it's a, a sealed resin model. Um, we can see a fair amount of detail there now, of course, on these Morgans, these newer ones, you've got 
you've got more body work between the between the wheel arch, the wing, and the bonnet. You've got that in there. That there is really filled in, whereas on previous older Morgans that would come down further, so the bonnet would be more separate from the wings. Anyway, so we've got that there, and it almost goes into well, it does go into running boards there, and uh, little doors. These are awkward cars to live in, I believe. And then, because this is an Aero 8 Super Sport, you've got a single a rear window there. The, of course, there is the Aero Max, and Smart, Smart, uh, Spark did a model of the Aero Max as well, which was a limited production run of, I believe, 99 cars by Morgan, and that's been represented in silver by uh, Spark. Those are available. This one cost me £50, so about €60, Euros, $60.00. Uh, but an Aero Max will cost you more like 70, 80, 90 pounds, up to 100 or so dollars or euros. Right, okay. Now, one thing I've noticed with these models is the rear lights fall out. So, if you're buying a second hand one, make sure you've got both of these strip lights and then also you've got these red brake lights there and there because they do fall out. Of course, you can always glue them back, uh, but if they're lost, they're lost. So um, you don't really want to go through that. Okay, so um, side exit exhaust there, quite nicely done. Um, right, let's take that roof back off. Now, of course, the side windows are shown as up in this model, and they even appear the top of the side windows appear to have a black line along them as if there is a frame on them which is slightly odd. I don't know if they do have a frame or not. I guess they do. But, uh, right, okay. Now, of course the wing mirrors here are um, vulnerable so make sure you've got two wing mirrors and the car actually has three windscreen wipers. Um, let's see if you can see them there. They're hard to see. You're trying to pick them out against the black. Okay, we're struggling to pick up that detail. Right. Okay, now looking at the interior of this car, and that's one of the great things about an open car, you've got this lovely uh, brown leather coloured seats, door cards, some chrome there on the door cards, and then a gorgeous dashboard topped with leather leather top steering wheel, um, nice narrow centre console with the uh, gear stick and brake, uh, handbrake lever or parking brake lever. Um, no, all in all, uh, a lovely looking car and a, lov a lovely model. Now, the next step of course is to take the, uh, take the model off the plinth. Right, I just had to get my screwdriver then, so there's a single screw on this model and making sure I'm not really pressing on the model but holding the plinth I'm going to hopefully start that unscrewing. Ah, yeah, okay, so it's really key, key there to be pressing the plinth. If you press the model there's a good chance you'll break it and then you only need to hold the model from rotating with the screw after you've started turning it. Uh, this one's awkward. I don't know why. It's not really fitting my screwdriver too well. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, I've, I guess it's the wrong size screwdriver, which I hadn't expected. Right. Fairly long screw. Yeah, pretty long. Okay. And there we come. Right. Okay, so looking at the model, the point of taking off the plinth really is to look at the underside of the model. And there is very little to see here. Let's just turn it up that way so at least the writing is. Oh, something's come off there. What's well, just uh, something that sounded like. Oh, right, okay, this is what I'm talking about. So, what has just happened, and I don't know if you can see that on my hand just there is a lens. And that lens has fallen off this car and it's probably 
It's actually a headlight lens. So if we look at the headlights, let's bring that back. Uh, this side, the lens has fallen off. That side has still got the lens. These Morgans, in particular in the Spark range, definitely notorious for parts falling off them. Right, okay. I'm going to obviously have to glue that on, which is a nightmare um, because it's a very visible part. There's, you know, I'm going to have to put the tiniest bit of super glue on the edge of the lens and try to pop it back with a tweezer of some kind. It's, or even maybe hold the lens with blue tack against a screwdriver so I'm holding it through the through the blue tack I'm not sure what I'm going to do there but uh, at least I heard it drop onto the paper and I have found it and not lost it so again a car that can be displayed but you do not want to touch it you don't want to be um, you don't want to be ah now there we go I didn't realize I still had that piece on from the mounting um, you don't want to be trying to clean this car, bits will just fall off it. Okay. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching the review. Um, have a look at buynowsearch.com, which is a side project of mine, which um, is an eBay search tool. It will email you uh, newly listed items on eBay that match searches that you store in the system, in the Buy Now Search system. Uh, but it does it for fixed price items because of course fixed price items can be bought within 10-20 minutes of them being listed so what's the chance of you ever finding them? Very low unless you use a tool to be constantly looking at them for you. Okay, so uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, I've got a playlist of uh, model car reviews so uh, and I'm sure you'll hear from me again shortly. Thanks for watching.